Hello. Welcome to Sienna Take 10, where it only takes 10 minutes to learn about Sienna's latest networking technologies and services. In this installment, you will learn about GeoMesh, uniting submarine and terrestrial networks. Our speaker is Brian Lavallee. Brian is Sienna's Director of Global Network Solutions. Grab a coffee and enjoy. Good day, everyone. My name is Brian Lavallee, and I'm responsible for the Global Network Solutions team here at Sienna. Today I'm going to talk about Sienna's award-winning GeoMesh networking solution, which is commercially available today and deployed the world over. As everyone knows, global bandwidth consumption is increasing annually due to a variety of factors, such as high-speed mobile connectivity, HD video streaming, and cloud computing, where the network connects the end user, be it man or machine, to distant data and compute resources. Most of the media attention has been focused towards terrestrial network bandwidth growth. However, Given that submarine cables, and not satellites as is commonly believed, carry nearly 100% of all traffic between continents, increases in terrestrial network bandwidth eventually spills over onto submarine cables, which stitch together all of the world's continents, except Antarctica. As you can see from this chart, submarine networks are experiencing a 30-40% to 40 compound annual growth rate in bandwidth right out to 2019. Submarine cables in this regard can be referred to as the jugular veins of international connectivity and are the focus of this short presentation. The question for global network operators is how to best interconnect submarine and terrestrial networks in a simple, cost-effective, and highly reliable manner. We at Siena believe the answer to this question is GeoMesh. So what exactly is GeoMesh? In a nutshell, it's a network solution specifically targeted at simplifying the handoff between submarine and terrestrial networks, and is comprised of three core technology building blocks. The first building block is Sienna's WaveLogic 3 100 gig based coherent transport technology, which today supports reaches spanning both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. WaveLogic 3 allows network operators to address surging bandwidth demands over existing submarine networks, as well as new submarine networks being planned for the future. The second building block is what Sienna refers to as the optical bypass, which essentially places a rotom in the cable landing station. This significantly simplifies traditional network designs, as we'll see in upcoming charts. The third building block is Sienna's OneConnect intelligent control plane technology, which allows network operators to protect their submarine networks from one or more simultaneous faults. OneConnect has already been field proven numerous times in the past decades in networks around the world by autonomously rerouting critical traffic around network faults caused by man or Mother Nature. OneConnect also offers numerous operational benefits, which will also be covered in this presentation. Sienna's 100 gig WaveLogic 3 allows network operators to cost-effectively scale their networks to address surging bandwidth demands. In fact, there are already several 100 gig WaveLogic 3 based network deployments in service today that span both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The greatly increased reach afforded by Sienna's soft forward error correction allows the termination points to be moved from the cable landing stations typically situated near or on the beach all the way inland to the destination central office or data center. Although we would all like to work on the beach, the reality is that the network termination points are often located inland in the downtown cores. Since WaveLogic 3 can be used over terrestrial and submarine network segments, numerous benefits are enabled such as less spares to manage, reduced complexity, increased reliability, lower latency, and an overall easier network to manage from end to end. Submarine networks were traditionally designed from beach to beach, primarily due to the distances involved when crossing oceans, which can easily range from 5,000 kilometers to 10,000 kilometers and even further. Once the beach to beach submarine network segment was constructed, a terrestrial backhaul segment on each end was then deployed which brought traffic all the way into the inland POP, or point of presence. Although this architecture has worked well for decades, with the advent of new optical networking technologies, such as coherent detection and rotoms, network operators can instead design simpler networks from POP to POP. This new network architecture yields formidable benefits to both network operator and end user alike, as we will discuss in subsequent charts. Rotom technology has been widely deployed in terrestrial networks for close to a decade and has proven to be reliable and cost-effective. GeoMesh strategically places rotoms in cable landing stations, yielding significant reductions in equipment, power, space, latency, and overall network complexity, as will be shown on the next chart. To further leverage the economies of scale enabled by GeoMesh, the same Rotom technology can actually be used over both submarine and terrestrial networks. 
There are additional notable benefits to rotoms as well. For example, rotoms are all optical, meaning they are bitrate independent, unlike regenerator cards, which are bitrate dependent, and must be changed each time channel speeds are upgraded from 40 to 100 gig, for example. As well, since GeoMesh traffic remains in the coherent optical domain from pop to pop, it is an inherently more secure way to send traffic over great distances. Now let's see how GeoMesh simplifies the traditional cable landing station design. The submarine network segment on each end typically incorporates undersea repeaters, SDH interconnection equipment, and submarine line terminating equipment. However, recall that the termination points are not actually on the beaches but are instead situated tens to hundreds of kilometers inland. This means terrestrial backhaul network segments are also required on each end. The terrestrial backhaul network segment typically incorporates terrestrial line terminating equipment, amplifiers, and an optical switch located in the POP for grooming and protection purposes. Although this architecture does work, it is highly inefficient as evidenced by the amount of redundant equipment and highly inefficient and costly traffic handoff. GeoMesh leverages the very latest in coherent Rotom technologies to simplify traditional landing station designs by significantly reducing the required amount of equipment. This leads to immediate reductions in power, space, latency, complexity, and of course cost. It should be noted that there's no point of putting a grooming switch in the cable landing station if all of the traffic from the submarine network is actually destined for the inland pop. As well, you'll notice that the submarine line terminating equipment has been moved from the cable landing station on the beach to the inland pop. This results in a reduction for each pop-to-pop -pop channel from six transponder cards to two transponder cards, yielding significant cost reductions, especially at 100 gig line rates. Now let's see how GeoMesh simplifies pop-to-pop -pop network designs at the network level using real-world deployment examples. This chart illustrates a traditional end-to-end -end network design. There's a submarine network segment facing the Atlantic Ocean and a terrestrial segment facing the downtown core, which in this case is the outskirts of London. For the most part, these two network segments were designed, deployed, and managed as distinct network segments, although together they serve the common purpose of carrying traffic from pop to pop. Using GeoMesh, this network spanning several thousands of kilometers is greatly simplified because it was designed using pop to pop design techniques. The cable landing station is significantly simplified by keeping the traffic carrying channels in the optical domain all the way from downtown New York to downtown London. The resultant GeoMesh network is faster, simpler, and lower cost. Submarine networks are truly the ultimate outside plant, given the inherently harsh operating environments of the world's seabeds. Submarine cables are subject to faults caused by humans, such as ship anchors and fishing activities, and Mother Nature and her earthquakes and tsunamis. It is estimated that a submarine cable fault occurs every three days, and repairing these faults is much more difficult and time-consuming than terrestrial network faults, primarily due to the location at the bottom of oceans. As we become increasingly interconnected, the economy, and even security of a nation, becomes subject to submarine network outages, of which there are many examples over the past few years. This means that submarine cables being upgraded to multi-terabit carrying capacities must be better protected. The third GeoMesh building block is Siena's OneConnect Intelligent Control Plane technology, which has been optimized and fine-tuned for over a decade and is now part of our technological DNA. Using OneConnect, network operators are able to enjoy field-proven network availabilities as high as 6.9s, which will be critical for the successful rollout of cloud services where the network now stands between end users and their storage and compute resources. Intelligent mesh networks implement shared network protection, which yields higher bandwidth utilization for sizable reductions in network costs. Besides network protection, OneConnect also allows network operators to customize service offerings for increased differentiation in the hyper-competitive environment of international wholesale services. Since OneConnect is transport agnostic, it can be deployed equally well over both submarine and terrestrial networks to leverage the entire pool of network assets over land and undersea. OneConnect enables several operational benefits besides improved network resilience. Some of these real-world examples are provided on this chart. For instance, shared mesh protection can improve network utilization by upwards of 70 percent, yielding lower capex and opex. Intelligent latency-based routing can reduce service latency by up to 30 percent, especially when coupled with optical bypass discussed earlier. And finally, control plane intelligence minimizes the amount of manual operations required 
which yields faster service turnup, operational savings by as high as 25%, and a reduction in manual provisioning errors as high as 75%. For decades, submarine and terrestrial networks followed different technological paths, leading to networks that were designed, deployed, managed, and priced separately and differently. GeoMesh changes the game by leveraging common 100 gig based switching and transport technologies over land and undersea to unlock the substantial benefits associated with economies of scale. This is why GeoMesh has become so successful in such a short period of time. By leveraging its network specialist expertise, Sienna wanted to help its customers to design, build and deploy networks that are bigger, faster and smarter. The resultant offering is GeoMesh which combines award-winning 100 gig WaveLogic 3 optical bypass and OneConnect technologies into a unique and innovative offering, which is commercially available and widely deployed today. The success of any commercial offering lies within its market acceptance and adoption in real-world networks. In just a few short months, GeoMesh has been deployed worldwide and has also recently won another award for the best submarine networking technology available today.